Hey guys, this is Mike from B Tech Reviews here, and today we take a look at gaming on the Moto G Stylus 2023. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are taking a look at the Moto G Stylus 2023 and I've had this phone for a little more than a month and I'm still kind of uh, playing with it and learning its quirks and features, right? You know, uh, kind of uh, want this device to be a long-term uh, review unit just because I really love the build quality of the device compared to the prior year version. I think it's nice and sleek. The color is very nice expandable memory etc like that a uh, very nice looking screen even though it's not an amoled screen which i'm hoping uh that motorola decides to you know transition uh you know these screens to amoled just because i mean ips is nice right 120 hertz is nice right but you know again it you know you the screen quality just isn't as good as you would get with an AMOLED. So anyways, uh, I want to change the refresh rate really quick just for you guys so that we can uh, know that we are maxed out as far as the uh, uh, refresh rate on this. So just so you guys know, this phone does uh, this phone does um, pull at 120 hertz. Now, of course, there is an auto feature. There is 60 hertz and then there's 120 hertz. I'm going to go ahead and just mark it at 120 hertz. And again, just so you guys can see a higher uh, display refresh rate allows for smoother viewing, but drains the battery. So, so there's a few uh, games that I want to try here, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to mount this right here. And as you can see here, I do have an Xbox controller. This is actually an Xbox one controller uh, that I use. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I already have it synced up with the device here. So you can kind of see here just so you can kind of see, you can see I'm moving uh, the control with the device here and then I'm going to try to do my best to kind of zoom in here and you know fix the tripod a little bit just so you guys can kind of see uh, what's going on in the background at least um, while I'm playing with the controls here but pretty much I'm going to start with the Xbox Game Pass app right which I had on earlier and currently I am actually not connected to Wi-Fi so just to kind of show you guys that I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, you can see there that the Wi-Fi toggle is off. I'm strictly using the T-Mobile data, right? So I'm using Game Pass. Uh, I was actually uh, playing Forza earlier. So you can see there Forza Horizon 5. So I just kind of want to you know, give you guys the idea or impression of what this uh, is like, to, especially uh, cloud gaming because Xbox Game Pass is basically cloud uh, streaming. Uh, when it comes to the games uh, and i know this is still like in beta form it even says right there on the bottom beta but for the most part it's not bad and i've already i, I played with it a little bit i can't read any of that by the way i'm super blind but the cool part about this is uh, motorola especially when it comes to gaming gives you this little toggle right and this little toggle allows you to change settings right so you can change uh, different things like shortcuts gestures again re refresh rate right so again you can actually change the refresh rate so if your uh, display refresh rate in the other settings is uh, like 60 or 90 whatever you can actually change it to 100 and I only have it at 120 just so that we can kind of get the, the the peak performance on this obviously if you want to save battery life you might want to lower it to 60 right but you know this little toggle it just allows you to change things like the volume which I'm going to try to just max out and the, the brightness a little bit i'm gonna bright i'm gonna pop up the brightness just a little bit for you as well and even though i'm even though i was kind of knocking on the display right the display really doesn't look that bad uh especially when the brightness is all the way up but you again little features on this little toggle that motorola gives you especially with this gaming you can screenshot you can screen record uh you can turn it in lock mode you can you know block all notifications so so again, let's go ahead and get this going. I have the controller here, just so you can kind of see. And you know, again, syncing data. So again, we are not, you know, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. And the reason why I'm not connected to Wi-Fi is because I tried this out with Wi-Fi and I actually was lagging more than on the regular data connection. So, uh, and if, excuse me, if you hear my dog barking in the background, my dog, uh, my dogs are <laughs> fighting over food over here. But yeah, for the most part, uh, you know, I was kind of cruising and just exploring the world out here in the Forza uh, game, and it's really not bad. You can see here I was using a GTR. Let's see if it lets me change cars here. Welcome back 
So there you go. And um, Corvette Stingray. I forget what my favorite car to use in this was. I have a few cars that I really enjoy using when I was playing Forza Horizon uh, 5. And again, guys, this, you know, you can play anything that is a cloud game available on Xbox Game Pass, like Halo and whatnot. You can play that also. I might. I also have Genshin Impact installed on this just to kind of show you guys uh, what that game uh, plays like, right? Let's go ahead and get in the Stingray. Wait, is this 2004? What the... Okay, hold on. I'm just, like trying to figure out what, which one is is the better car. I'm gonna get in my uh, Stingray, my blue Stingray. Very nice. So again, take 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 it for what it is. I guess I don't really care to do that. I kind of just want to cruise, you know, kind of give you guys the idea of like what this looks like, right? You can see my forehead there. Uh, but yeah, just so you know, trigger controls the the actual thing. So. You know, again, I don't really know as far as frame, frame rate goes, like what it actually is. Uh, but, you know, probably at, you know, I want to say a solid 30 frames a second at least. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can pop pop that up. But, you know, again, I'm just going to kind of, you know, cruise. I'm like, if you've ever played Forza Horizon, <laughs> you, you know that like pretty much that uh, most of the game takes place in Mexico. So... You know, a lot of the, a lot of the, what you see here is uh, all just Mexican terrain and whatnot. But for the most part, the game does play pretty solid. Again, this is cloud gaming, guys. Okay, well, let's go back here. Let's go back here because I want to say this is like an event, maybe. Showcase. Let's see. Solo rivals. Let's do solo. So just so you guys can see, and again, this might, this video might be a little long actually. So. Um, I think this is where you have to like beat the airplane. So this is like a little competition where you have to beat the airplane and get that volume all the way up here just so that we can, that way we can do that. And again, guys, first time, like first or second time doing something like this. So, oh, did I already get last place or what? what's going on? All right, maybe that's the guy that's placing, I guess. On a wing and a prayer. Okay, I might have to use a specific car. Yeah, because on some of these, you can only use, like, specific cars. So, in this case, I have, like, an old-school Ford Escort. And basically, all you're doing is just beating the the plane. Pretty much, you just have to follow the line without. <laughs> okay, hold on one second, guys. I'm trying to see if you can change the view. There you go. So you can't change viewing angles. Whoa! There you go. I like to kind of have like a wider shot of my vehicles. Oop. But as you can see there, you can actually change to first person view if you want. It's like, how does one beat a plane when planes travel like at like a 300 mile per hour uh, speed, basically? But for the most part, guys, yeah, this is, in my opinion, like for what it is, you know, this, this, uh, This, uh, you know, this phone has a Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 processor, which definitely not slow uh, by any means. You know, I believe it has 6 gigs of RAM, uh, which I think is a fair amount for this mid-range device. Again, it's a device that's under 300, and currently you can get it for free on Metro by T-Mobile. But, you know, for the most part, you know, if you guys uh, want something for light gaming like this as well... Or, like, let's just say you want a, a secondary device, you know, to game on, right? You know, and you don't really care, uh, you know. Like, for me, for instance, right, you guys see I have, like, several devices, especially for the channel. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, hold on. Hit the wall, that's all right. I didn't break it fast enough, but that's okay. Oh, okay, same. This car has too much uh, torque. I need to work on its brakes, actually. 
And the cool part about it is it's cloud gaming. So if you played this on your Xbox, right, you actually, um, you know, you can take your save data and you can actually play this like on the go, which this is like one of the one things that I do love about like Game Pass and the cloud gaming app is that, you know, if you have a, a game that you were playing and you want to continue on, you can literally just play it from your phone. So like, let's say you're traveling and whatnot, you know, and, uh, you know, you just wanted to to play because you were bored, right? There you go, achievement unlocked. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not going to beat the plane, but, you know, we're, we're trying. <laughs> I can still see it at least. Forget you have to pass these little markers. My, my car is probably beat up, by the way. <laughs> And don't judge, guys. I haven't played this game in a minute here. Oh, come on. Turn. Oh, there's the plane right there. You can see it in the background. But yeah, you know, again, 120 hertz refresh rate. You know, again, I'm, I'm using the data network, right? Because I have unlimited, uh, I have unlimited data. And again, like I said, it just runs better. To me, this runs better if, if I was actually like on the actual... Um, my Wi-Fi, because my Wi-Fi at home sucks. But, you know, I could see myself playing, doing work. We're almost there. Come on, let's fucking go. Let's see if I can beat the plane. He's like right there. I don't think I'm going to beat it, but you never know. There's the finish. Oh, did I beat it? <laughs> oh, I got excited, guys. Oh, hell yeah. First place, baby. Using an Xbox One controller, because... All right, so you see that I won that race, right? Um, and again, I, ha I actually have to go into the settings and turn off the music, guys, just because, uh, again, I probably... I, I don't know if I'll get copyright uh, strike written here, but, you know, again, I did just want to show you this game, and then the other game I'm going to show you guys is Genshin Impact, which is a very popular... Uh, MMO, but just so you guys can see, this game is very playable, right? Obviously, uh, there's courses that go off-road also. I'm ruining my Corvette here, as you can see here. But definitely a very playable game, you know, if you guys are, are into stuff like racing like this, this is definitely very playable. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, right? I'm just going to go home. And I'm going to turn on Genshin Impact now. Let's see how long that takes to start, right? And I don't I won't need the control for this, unfortunately. And turn off Game Pass over here. And you're gonna see my screen kind of like space out a little bit. Just because of the white background. There you go. And again, I am I am recording on a phone, so uh Genshin Impact, right? America start game. I really wish that they allowed like controls for this but while this is loading we'll, we'll let this load up and then we'll get i'll show you a little bit of gameplay of the actual game itself okay guys and right again pr pretty good size screen guys by the way i believe this is a 6.6 .6 inch screen right but as you can see here you know we're playing genshin impact um you know very popular game among uh you know people that like this this type of games and, you know, I had, I think I have another account, like, on my PS5, but I don't know why I just kind of put in a random email and they gave me, it gave me, like, but I really wish that you can, con like, use the Bluetooth control over here just because, um, you know, definitely I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of playing, like, on the screen here. I, I need a control, like, I just, I can't get used to this, but as you can see here, oh, shit, there's Paimon, let's see. Open the world map. Okay, I don't even know how to do that. Okay, is it up here? There you go, world map, okay. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Confirm. There you go, go back. Okay, so I'm following little Paimon here. And again, guys, right, it does, it does say, like, um... I'm kind of blind right there, but I want to say that gives you kind of like the frame rates there on the top oh, right. Or at least we'll Or at least it'll give like the connection. Oh yeah, that's, that's one thing I hate about this game. That's one thing I do hate about this game.
I have no clue what she's talking about. <laughs> I ain't paying attention. I'm just trying to to live. I'm trying to live my life over here, Paimon. I wish your, the character would just pick him up. By the way, you actually have to like tap tap the item here. Try to attack the tree. Tap that tree. Jump, jump. I mean, this is a fun game, though, guys. Like, if you have it, if you play it like on PC or or PS5, you're de you'll definitely enjoy it. There we go. Let's just so you can kind of see part of the story. This is what the intro of the game looks like, basically, and it's like a huge world that you get to. The Animo God, basically. It's like a wind god, basically. If you don't know what that is. But basically, you just have to... We're hopping. Hopping, hopping, hopping. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and and end the video there, right? But I just wanted to get kind of that area. I wanted to get that uh, that sneak peek, I guess, or not sneak peek, but the video footage of myself playing uh, with the Moto Stylus 5G over here, right? You know, again, very impressed uh, with this device. Definitely uh, compared to other, you know, review units I've done in the past, especially with gaming, you know, you know this one has done a very good job i can't complain one bit when it comes to the performance of this phone and again battery life on this device is amazing like again i had charged it a little bit but you know really i i you know right we're at what 50 some percent right now uh, on the actual device so you know again guys take it with a grain of salt you know this uh, this is going to differ between everybody uh you know people are gonna ask oh how does fortnite play etc like that but if i can play games like this like you know forza horizon 5 or whatever fortnite was is gonna be a breeze on, on a, especially on a device like this um, and again i've played fortnite on much older devices with worse specs so again just to kind of show you guys uh, what the specs are here uh on the device right there it is right there again let's take a look here let's go to device also this is what you're seeing again it's got it's octa-core processor six gigs of ram although it says 5.37 that means that there's a portion that's kind of locked uh, or underclocked there you know you have an adreno 710 which is for the gra for the graphics 10 1080 by 2040 397 ppi so ppi is pretty okay you know not the brightest looking phone but still very nice looking screen even though again it's not an it's not an amoled it's just an ips or you know an hd plus whatever you want to call it i guess ips lcd but again the 120 hertz does make a difference guys so you know again take it take that with a grain of salt right <laughs> the, you know that that 120 hertz is going to to you're you're going to notice it when you know you're transitioning from you know app to app and whatnot and again uh, you know, just a decent phone in general, guys. So again, guys, this is just my uh, take on uh, gaming for the Moto Stylus 5G. Uh, smash that like button if you guys like the video. And again, comment in the talent section down below if you guys have any thoughts or questions about the device itself. Thanks again for watching.